He was recently named the 2016 Entrepreneur of the Year by the Metropolitan Economic Development Association. Yes, Jason Eisen moved to the Twin Cities for a job more than 10 years ago. The Brooklyn Park resident has been working at H&B Elevator since then, but it's how he went from project manager to CEO that makes him a Minnesotan to meet. If you've been inside U.S. Bank Stadium or the newly renovated State Capitol building, you've seen the work of H&B Elevator. President and CEO Jason Eisen says his company has manufactured elevators for buildings all over the world. The Burj Khalif, that's over 100 floors. It varies, so we do things that are small to large, complex to simple. We do things that have glass in them or just plastic laminate like you find on your uh, countertops at home. After working in construction in California, the Milwaukee native decided it was time for him and his wife to move back to the Midwest. After all, he had friends close by from attending school at the University of Wisconsin Stout. Coming back here felt natural to be among some of the people that I graduated with and got to know. The father of two first accepted a role as project manager. I was primarily New York, and one of the biggest projects that I worked on pretty early on is the city center in Las Vegas, which is the uh, one of the largest projects uh, in the country to date. It's a campus of buildings, convention centers, hotels, and the casinos right next to the Bellagio. The recession hit, and he moved to a sales and marketing role. Then on to director of sales and marketing, and it wasn't long after that he learned that H&B Elevator's owners were looking to sell. A few days went by after me finding out. And I started to feel this real urge to want to do this. He had no idea how to go about acquiring a business. And that's when he turned to Mita, a local nonprofit that could help him with the acquisition. And we see that uh, they help people like me figure this whole thing out about how to uh, grow businesses, acquire businesses, get ac access to capital, and find resources like lawyers and insurance people. In 2013, the company became his. And Eisen now oversees 50 employees. He moved the headquarters from South Minneapolis to North Minneapolis, and he hopes they continue to grow along with the Twin Cities. It's a great deal of pride to be able to say that your, the products that you build help shape uh, such a beautiful staple of our city now. Um, a lot of our my employees are really proud when they go over there to point things out to friends and family to say, this is what we did. Jason is also busy outside of work as well. He serves on three different bo boards, Turning Point Inc., Minneapolis Workforce Development, and now he's also on the board of MEDA. And he plans to also uh, have a second shift for his workers here in the coming months. So their company is expanding. And in his free time, he spends a lot of time in what Brooklyn free time? Park at <laughs> hockey rinks. With I'm his amazed two children. when we talk about like CEOs and they're like, oh, I'm on several different boards. And then in my free time, it's like, wow. They keep tight schedules. Yeah. Time management, very important. We know like the workers do the actual work. So of course, CEOs can just go from meeting to meeting. Yes. He's wearing a nice suit. He's yeah, not welding. Come on. Good point. <laughs> Great success. Yes. Thanks, Sally.